Hey guys, when we heat a copper wire in air, it reacts with oxygen and becomes covered with black copper oxide. In this video, I'll demonstrate an interesting reaction between copper oxides and anhydrous hydrazine. You know that hydrazine is capable of reducing many metals, and copper is one of them. It's a simple and at the same time very rare chemical reaction that you definitely have not seen before. To do this, I'll simply add a few drops of anhydrous hydrazine to the copper 2 oxide powder. As you might have noticed, after the contact of copper oxide and hydrazine, pure copper is formed, which then quickly turns black again as it reverts to copper 2 oxide. This is due to the fact uh, that this reaction is very exothermic, and the resulting pure copper has a very high developed surface, which quickly reacts with oxygen in the air and turns back into oxide. This reaction also produces a distinctive green flame. I've adjusted the lighting so you can clearly observe it. Now let's see the same reaction with copper 1 oxide. Hydrous hydrazine is capable of reducing copper from basic copper carbonate while also igniting upon contact with it. When stoichiometric amounts of potassium superoxide and copper 2 oxide are fused in an inert atmosphere at around 500 degrees Celsius, 
dark blue, almost black crystals of potassium cuprate are formed. Potassium cuprate is a strong oxidizing agent. Upon contact, hydrogen immediately ignites, but I was not visually able to detect copper in the reaction products. Hydrogen ignites upon contact with transition metal compounds. Copper orthovanadate, which contains both copper and the transition metal vanadium, reacts with hydrogen in this manner. You'll know the silver mirrors reaction. By using dilute solution of hydrogen and copper acetate, we can get a copper mirror. To do this, we need to mix the two solutions and then gently heat them in a water bath. This method yields an ideal copper mirror. However, this mirror is quite fragile. Once the solution is drained from the flask, damage quickly occurs, resembling craters on the moon. By the way, the reaction of anhydrous hydrazine with solid copper acetate also looks very interesting. In this reaction, the formation of copper metal can be seen. So guys, here was a video about the reactions of hydrogen and copper compounds. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments below and subscribe to the channel if you appreciate chemical content. I'd like to express my gratitude to all my patrons whose support makes it easier for me to create new chemical videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.